Hello you guys, welcome back to Winter Filming. It's 26 degrees in England now, I'm absolutely dripping. I've only got to think about paint and it's just falling off me. And I'm here today with my mate Dave, the kitchen fitter, and he's going to show you how to do that What's it called, Dave? That Mason's mitre. Mason's mitre. You know that bit in the corner of the worktop where most of us tend to just put a metal strip? Well, he's going to show you how to do it properly. Step by step and what kit you need. Let's show you how to do it with my mate Dave, the kitchen. Hello, Dave. How are you? I'm alright, thanks, Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't look worried on camera, it won't hurt you, mate. Right, you're going to show them how to do this mitre, aren't you? We are. Step by now, step. Yeah. So, what's the first thing we've got to do? We've got to go outside because that's where you're cutting, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's go then, mate. Let's, let's go. go let's look. do it. Let's do it. Right then, so here you are. You've got your, your work top. First thing you need is a decent half inch router. Right, yeah, that's a good one, is it? Yeah, the DeWalt half inch router. Half inch router. With a fresh cutting blade in it, especially if you're new. The sharper the blade, the easier the cut. Right, okay, mate, yeah. And you've got your worktop blade out on there. Yeah. Jigsaw. Jigsaw, yeah, okay. Certain with the saw. All right. The, cutting the worktops to length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So you have to have quite a lot of bit, quite oh, a lot of kit, yeah, yeah. don't you, Dave? As much kit as you need for second fixing, only a bigger router. Yeah, I bet you don't. Look, you, your wage don't warrant all this kit, though, does it? It does with this company. Oh. <laughs> that's, right. the, that's the jig you need. That jig, yeah, they're quite dear, aren't they? This one's about 80, 90 quid, and right. it pays for, pays for itself within the first month, easy. Does it? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay. Get a couple of pushes with guide pushes. Yeah. They just pop in there, nice and easy. Yeah. So, and then this bit, this is your this is your guide stop. Right. This this tells your jig how long the worktop is. Right, got you. The, your, how wide the worktop is that you're cutting in. Yeah. Oh, I ain't got a clue what you're doing. I'm I'm just uh, we'll taking your word for it. We'll Dave. cut all this out. Yeah, yeah. We'll edit it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that mark there yeah. is bang on 600. And then the further back you come, because not all the worktops come out bang on 600. Right. Sometimes they're 605. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're cutting a mitre, every millimetre is crucial. Right, got you, mate. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Doing God's trade and all that. So, hold on. What, so, where, where you got to cut? Where, where, where is it? This, this is the sink run. Yeah. The sink's going in there. Yeah. And you're going to have the male cut coming off there with the hobby. Right, got you. Yeah. So here will be the female cut. Oh, I'll say, okay, you're cutting it on that, that edge there. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You can only cut left to right with that particular router cutter. Right. It's the way it spins. Okay. So face up this particular one, and the guide will left to right along that edge. So how, how do you know where you got to put that then? By measuring the width of the worktop, yeah, that's going to get cut into it. Yeah. So you got your guide stop. That'll be so basically that width will be then cut into here. Right. See on the male cup. So somebody with a bit of carpentry knowledge will, will be able to relate to this. Then. Yes. Plus, when you see the next part of the video, you'll understand where the male's going. Right. This, got this is the female. Okay. The male slots into the female perfectly. Well, as it normally does, like, like you know what I mean? Hey, That's hey. where you're coming from. <laughs> <laughs> right, get a shot of underneath there, Mark. Okay. In between the worktop and the bush, yeah. it has to be tight to Oh, the... they have to be pushed up. Yeah, actually, in there and in there, yeah. all three points, one, two, three, yeah. have to be tight on to the worktop. Okay, mate, okay. And, mate, with this particular one, pinch them. So they're flush at the top, yeah, and not on the angle, right? And then push it in and slide it in for the length, right? Got you. And then you need a couple of yeah good clamps, okay? Because once this jig is clamped in place, it cannot that, move. That's it. Yeah. So we'll just check that again. Yeah. Tighten it up. Yeah. Final 
measure just to make sure. It should be about 53 to 53. Female's nice and square. Okay. Take the guy with it out. Oh, you check them off, yeah? Yep, I'm Yeah, got you. This first pass is only a couple of miles deep. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right. Hold on, let's get a different angle. Okay, yeah, go on then. So, what you, hold on, what you got to do then? So, you got to route it? Yeah. All the way down? That's it, you'll see. Yeah, okay. And then, if, if you look but underneath the worktop, yeah. you'll see when you drop it down how far it will bite into the top of the worktop. Oh, I'll get a shot of that, don't we? Out. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, it's quite clever, really. Now you can see we've got where we're going to cut. Yeah. And you've got a lot of waste there. With the route of the cutter as it is, it's hard work to take both sides out. Right. So we jigsaw out one half of the cut. Increases your blade life and it's easier on the motor for your route. Lovely day, lovely. It's amazing how many people have got the name Dave. It makes life easier, eh? Yeah. It's been a joint out again. See some slight oh yeah no furry yeah. on the joint yeah with a fresh blade there'll be hardly any but just scrape that off now while it's open because yeah, when you get them together to join it's different more difficult oh, yeah. so that's one done then that's one, one female done. part to the mason's mind what are you doing now then Dave Trangy has only got two door holes on this unique has three. Oh yeah. Made in England. Love that. Same sort of thing, three points, tight against the worktop. Oh yeah, yeah. Clamp them on. The bolts we're using to join this worktop sit evenly in the middle of the worktop. If you cut down to a depth 28 mils in a 38 millimeter worktop. Right. 28 now. <clears throat> right, if you come around to this side, Mark. 
you'll see there's the there's a 28 mil mark there. Yeah. And I'm going to try and cut it in three passes. So you're looking at about 10 mils a pass. Yeah, all right, okay. The art of bolting. Ah, right, the art of bolting. Ye olde sellotape. <laughs> so, you, so you can have both hands free when yeah. you're bolting a worktop. Yeah. That's normally loose. Just wrap sellotape round there so it holds it tight. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. On all three. Go then on. you can lay them in your bolt holes. Yeah. Just take the jig out of the way. Five mil stroke. Yeah. Nice shallow angle. Is this the trick you're talking about? It is. Yeah, yeah. So, because when you're joining the work box, these you you got to have one hand here and another one here tightening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like an extra pair of hands for each bolt. Got you. Oh, sure. Some of the fine hands, so. You can. You, there's some of the newer bolts on the market that have got plastic fittings on them. And you can tighten them up with yeah. your screw gun, but these ones are only 90p each. From Howden's. Go ahead. And a little conti block on the end, so when the mail comes along, it's not going to drop any further than the bottom. 